Okay, we're about to get the pitching contest going. I guess that with the former winners, let's have the one minute pitches and introduce yourself to start with. Johan. So uh, I'm Johan Atby with uh, Fishbrain. So who's Fishbrain? So Fishbrain is the, the mobile app and the social network for the world's absolutely by far biggest hobby, sport fishing. So we help anglers globally catch more and bigger fish and brag about it in a peer group. And then we collect an enormous amount of data and then we use machine learning to, to figure out when, where and how to fish so anglers can catch more and bigger fish. That's fish brain in a nutshell. Jesse. Okay, um, I'm Jesse from Taiwan and we're the winner of Slush Asia in this year in Tokyo. And our company is called VM5. We're the technology, a cloud technology company. And our product, Airplay, is a playable advertising solution for the game, uh, mobile game. So we help game publishers to promote their app by letting users try the games before they download. So this kind of uh, brand new advertising model helps developers to acquire high quality users and make more retention and lifetime value in the game. So, Gerga. Hello, I'm Gerga Varga. I'm from Budapest, Hungary. I work for a company called Embrightly. And we find humans on the internet because online advertising has a massive fraud problem. Up to a third of all ad spend online is wasted on some sort of fraud. And what we did is the, we developed a tracking mechanism that looks at how users interact with the advertisements. And using pattern matching and behavioral analysis, we we're able to tell if that ad is being viewed or clicked on by a human or a robot. And uh, we help media companies, media agencies, and big name advertisers, as well as ad networks, in keeping their inventory clean and uh, basically guaranteeing a bigger return on investment on advertisement. Because if you cut out the fraudulent traffic, you're actually going to reach humans with your messages. And we won slush last year also. <laughs> Uh, actually, a quick comment from all of you. Were these actually the pitches with which you, you were winning two years ago, one year ago, and this, this spring? Johan. So what difference it made to, to us no. as a company? No, no, but was this the, the, the thing what you were telling today? Was that the same thing what you were telling us two years ago? Yeah, I, yeah, definitely the same thing. We're just executing on the, uh, the vision. We've done no pivot whatsoever in any direction. It's just, uh, no, same, same story, same thing that we were executing on. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm delivering on what I said I'm going to, going to deliver. Great to hear. How about you, Jesse? Um, yeah, I think it's almost the same that we're uh, having the pitch in this May, uh, in this April. And uh, we're just trying to tell everybody our product value and to convince the, those judges. Mm -hmm. My pitch is essentially the same. So nothing really changed, but I've told it so many times at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so core message is the same. OK. Uh, Johan, you've been, it's been two years since we were in Kaapeli Tehdas in the slash 2013. Um, it would be great to hear a little bit more what, what's happened in these, these two years. I think that you have a quite long story there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 been, it's been an amazingly crazy ride. So I think after uh, it made all the difference in the world to us winning Slush, because I think I, I closed the seed round a couple of weeks after, after we won uh, Slush here. And then we uh, continued to execute. We launched the app. This was when we won, before we had the app in the market. Now we're, uh, in total, we raised $11 million. Right before the summer, we raised an A round, $8 million A round. Mm -hmm. And now we're, uh, we're the biggest in the world. So we're the number one globally for, for sport fishing. But we're still tiny. We got a million users in the States. Mm -hmm. There are 60 million people that fish in the States. We only got a million. But we're, I think we grow five times as quickly as the second biggest. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy ride, and uh, but fun. OK, that, that's, that's great. Um, well, Jesse, how, how about you? Has been, what's, what has happened since? After Slush? Yeah. OK. 
Um, after slush, we closed our Series A. So we got uh, four to five million US dollars funding for Series A. And also we got very big partners in Japan, like uh, biggest uh, game media or the biggest game portal. They are becoming our deeply partners. So we are starting to launch our product in Japan. And next movement, we're going to Korea market. Mm -hmm. Any plans on coming to Europe? Excuse me? Any plans on coming to Europe with the product? Um, incomes? Sorry? Any plans on coming to Europe with, the, uh, uh, with your launch product launch? Oh, um, I think uh, after Korea market, the next one will be China market. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to US and European market. OK. Gerga, are you international already? Yes, prior to Slush, we only had Hungarian clients, and now we're tracking advertising campaigns from Germany to Dubai. So that's a pretty wide span. We've doubled our force uh, in terms of personnel, and we just opened a Vienna office, like last week. Mm. So we're expanding like crazy, definitely. Okay. Uh, Gerke, can you tell something about the, uh, you were also last year uh, part of the startup sauna, mm -hmm. the, uh, sister production for, for Slush. Uh, any specifics on that one, or, or what's, what's the feeling? Well, it was amazing and uh, essential, I think, to winning Slush, because we got our asses kicked for five weeks straight in, on how to act, talk, and behave like a proper business, even though we went to the accelerator program thinking that we, we know how to do a business, right? So we were pretty cocky, but... Uh, we got throughout the obliterated and like rebuilt back together as like new people. So it was absolutely a life-changing experience. OK. Uh, Jesse, uh, well, you are in Slush Asia, and uh, now you've been here for two days. Is there kind of a, how, how would you describe the similarities or differences? OK. Um, the same thing is the fancy venue. Uh, the venue in uh, Tokyo. They built in a tent um, from nothing to um, five different tents, and they built a very fancy venue. And in Slash Asia, they also have volunteers, students volunteers. They have over 300 students being the volunteers. And uh, I think the differences between Slash and Slash Asia is um, in because the differences of the country and regional. So here in Helsinki, have more European investors and um, uh, industry partners. And in Slash Asia, there are more to uh, Japanese or Chinese people. So we can find uh, our partners or potential investor in uh, Slash Asia more than in Slush. But I think both of those events are very good. Mm -hmm. Johan, anything for you in Asia? Japan, uh, China? Uh, definitely. So in, uh, in the latest round, we uh, recruit strategic partners mm -hmm. that are based in uh, Japan, Tokyo, mm -hmm. uh, participated. So we're actually working on localizing the, uh, the fish brain product for the Japanese market. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy. It's, uh, I wish it was easier. But it, we, we're getting feedback from recruit, and we're working that. So we will be, in a couple of weeks, we will launch in uh, Japan. In a localized, we're already there, but a localized version for the Japanese market. I spent some time evaluating the Chinese market. We got uh, Richard Chen uh, is an angel investor in Fishbrain. And, uh, but it's, uh, it's a tougher market. M many companies try to go after China. It's mm. a huge market for fishing. 90, 90, 90 million people fish in China. Mm. But it's a tough nut to crack. It's, uh, it's not easy for Western companies to make it in uh, China. In Japan, we have this uh, local partner. I wouldn't go after Japan if it wasn't because uh, now we have this local partner that can help us with that. China is more difficult. Eventually, we'll be there. I, I will break the Chinese market, but the uh, question of when. Oh, that's great. Not if. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, as a final question to, to your all, um, well, you, you are the Slush alumni. Now, how, how has Slush helped you? Uh, other than being the winner, that is, is there something that you've been getting personally out of, out of this or, or as a company? What would be the key things? I think if we start with, uh, for us, it helped us get quickly get credibility. 
because competition here, winning here, it's, it's fierce competition. You have to be pretty fucking good to win this one. Really good. So it, uh, it's get no pressure on the finalists here. But it makes a big difference. So we got credibility uh, immediately, which helped us with everything. It mm. helped us with fundraising. Mm. It helped us with getting uh, smart people on board, getting, getting the right talent, which is super important there. Uh, all the time, but also early to get the talent. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it meant a lot. OK, thank you. That, that was not a paid commercial, but <laughs> right. Jesse. Yes. Um, I think after Slush Asia, uh, since we were the uh, very, very new startup, we have no traction, no money, no human resources. So after Slush, we did use Slush uh, Championship to convince our investors and convince our uh, local partners in Japan. So they were more willing to work with us. So they can believe in our product, even we don't have any traction before. And also, we can recruit more talented people, even in Japan or in Taiwan. So uh, we can make our company more international. And also, um, as I mentioned, I would really want to point out those volunteer students in Japan. They really help us a lot. Because our, we are a Taiwanese company. We don't really speak Japanese. But if you want to do business to, uh, in Japan, you definitely need some help. So those students, they help us to communicate with some investors, or they invited us to some local invited-only parties. So we can have more deeply relationship between the local partners or local investors. Mm -hmm. Any specifics for you, Garka? Well, it put us on the map. It was sure helpful, the big check in closing a 750,000 euro seed round. And uh, well, yeah, uh, our website died down like the day after we won Slush because the server couldn't handle the loads. Like, the traffic spike went there. Mm -hmm. We got a massive amount of sales leads. And since then, I think we've talked to every media agency in the country, even though nobody knew who we were or that we were building this company before, select from a few of our friends. So. It was absolutely like, life-changing. And it's, the big problem for us was that ad fraud as a subject wasn't really talked about that much in Europe, and for, say, for a select few markets. But like, just like having slush like, push that out, that we have a company who's doing something with this, mm -hmm. instantly turned it around. So I think it even had like, a wider market effect, not just in the startup circles. OK. Hey. Thank you, Jesse, Thank you. Juhano, Gerke. Uh, let's get the Slush 100 pitching competition finals going on next. Thank you. Thank you.